Hello guys, if you like reading ebooks and you have a lot of EPUB, MOBI and PDF files on your computer, then this is the video for you. In this video, I'm going to show you a book management software called CS Books and I'm going to give you a short tour of all the features it has. First thing first, CS Books is available for all the flavors of Linux. So you can just Google CS Books, go to the GitHub repository and download the package that works for your flavor. On my computer, I use KD Neon. So to install it from the software center, I have to open Discover and then I can search CS Books and it will search for the Snap. And once it's there, I can click Install and then it will install it. Once the installation is completed, you can either start CS Books from the command line or from the Start menu. Now once you start CS Books, you will see that there are two different buttons. One is to import one file at a time and the other one is to import your entire library, which means importing your complete folder. On my system for the demonstration, I have created a folder called All Books, and this folder contains all my around two gigabyte books in the format of PDF, MOBI, and EPUB. So now when I click on Import, CS Books is going to try to search for books in PDF, EPUB, and MOBI format and at the same time it will try to also generate thumbnails for your books. You might notice a little bit of slowness for the duration when it's generating thumbnails, but don't worry when all the thumbnails are generated, it will run fine. In case some of your Mobi and EPUB files don't have a thumbnail image inside, CS Books will try to show a default thumbnail for those books. A default thumbnail is just a gray image with a book icon on it. Now let's look at some basic features. On the left hand side, we have a sidebar with library filters. And on the right side, we have a preview bar. The purpose of the preview bar is that it shows a little bit more information about the book when you click on the book. It can show you format and title. But if you click on a PDF file, it will also show you the number of pages in the book. As you can see, the number of pages information is not available for MOBI and EPUB formats because the number of pages in these formats depend on how big the font size is. Let's move to the left sidebar now. In the left sidebar, you have options to show or hide books in certain formats. There is also an icon and this icon will show you whether the corresponding books of this format are shown right now or hidden. So to hide all the PDF files, you can just click on this PDF option and library automatically hides all the PDF files. So now all the books you see here are either EPUB format or MOBI format. And that you can also see here. If in case you also hide EPUB format files, then the only available files here are MOBI format files. And then if you also hide MOBI format files, then you have nothing in the library view. And then you can click on PDF to show all the PDF files. Also, you can click on EPUB and MOBI and it will bring back all those files in those formats. Let's look at some menu options here. In the menu, you have first option as import file. And if you click this, you can actually import one single file into the library. Also, you have another option, which is import folder. And if you import folder, then you can import a separate folder in addition to the folder which you have already imported in the library. In addition to the many options, you can also directly drag and drop your files and folders to the library view to import them. Let's look at the next option in the menu. The next option in the menu is toggle dark mode. If you happen to be a fan of dark mode like I am, then you will be happy to know that it already exists in CS books. Clicking on this menu option immediately changes the background of the library view and the book preview sidebar to dark gray. To go back to the light mode, you can again click on the same option and you can bring back the light mode. The next item in the menu is toggle card or list view. If you click on this menu option, the library view immediately changes from card view to the list view. Some people prefer card view and some people prefer list view. I personally like card view more than the list view. To go back to the card view, you can click the same option again and it will bring back the card view. If you click on the about option, 
it will show you a little bit more details about CS Books. Here you can see some more details about CSMS Studio. That is my app studio. You can buy me a coffee. But also in this dialog, you show that the license of CS Books is GPL version 2 and the current version is 5.5.1. In case you face any problem with CS Books, you can directly report it on this link. This link is the GitHub repository of CS Books itself. And if you report an issue, I'll be happy to fix it for you. Let's close it. Now, obviously, any book management software requires a search field. And CS Books, of course, has one. As soon as you type something in the search field, CS Books immediately starts searching and then updates the library view with the search results. Let me show you by searching something. So if I type JavaScript, it shows me all the books with JavaScript in their title. And if I write code, it will show me all the titles with code in it. Another feature is also that you can sort all the books by title and types. The default sorting starts with M, L, U, and C which is no sorting at all. But then if you want to sort them by title, you can click here and then click on the titles and then it will be sorted. To sort it by type, you can also click on the type and then it will show you books according to the sorting of the types. Enough of list view, let's go back to the card view. The next hot new feature is the audiobooks integration from LibriVox. LibriVox provides all the public domain audiobooks for free. Before we move on to the audiobook section, let's open some books to see how the viewers look like. Let's open an EPUB book. Now one thing to mention here is that CS Books not only provides you a book management software, but it also provides you corresponding book viewers. So if you click on a PDF book, then the PDF viewer opens. If you click on an EPUB book, then the EPUB viewer opens. And similarly, if you click on a Mobi book, then the Mobi viewer opens. In this very simplified EPUB viewer, there is a button on the top left corner. If you click on this button, it opens the content view. Once the content view is open, you can click on any item and the corresponding chapter will open. You can close it back and then continue reading. The beauty of EPUB format is that it can readjust to the window size. If I resize my window, the rendering of my book will change from two column format to one column format. And if I resize it again, it will go back to the two column format. Also, you can change the font size by shortcuts or you can select the options from the menu. Similar to the library view in CS Books, the EPUB viewer also supports the dark mode, or here it is called night mode. If you double click on the title bar, the window will fit to the screen. There is also a menu option to restore your default font size. If you go to the windows and say toggle full screen, then the entire book fills your screen and you can read the book distraction free. As in this mode, menu is not available. So you can press Ctrl plus or Ctrl minus to resize the font size here. Or you can go back to the window mode by pressing F11. Now let's try to open a Mobi format book. Now as we see the Mobi format book viewer is not very different than the EPUB format book viewer. So there is a uniformity in the viewers. Similar to the EPUB viewer, Mobi viewer also supports night mode and changing of the font sizes by pressing Ctrl plus and Ctrl minus. Now let's open a PDF book. CS book opens the PDF book by using the library PDFJS. So of course you have all the advantages of this library. You can easily open the sidebar to see the thumbnails of all the book pages or you can change it to the content view mode. In addition, you also have the printing options available in this viewer, so you can print a single page or the entire book if you want. You can zoom in and zoom out. And of course, you can move to a specific page inside your PDF file. And you can also go to the full screen mode. Now let's finally go to the audiobook section. When you click on this button, CS Books will automatically load the most famous audiobooks from LibriVox. Also, you will see a notification that audiobooks feature is still in beta. 
If you face any issue, feel free to report it. If you click on the report button, CS Books will open directly the GitHub repo and you can easily create an issue report here. Let's close it. Similar to the textbook section, audiobook section also has a preview bar and you can read more details about the book here. For example, here we can see the reader of this audiobook and the description. Similar to the textbook section, here you also have a sidebar with the library filters. Clicking on LibriVox will hide all the LibriVox books and you will be left with only the books which you have saved on your computer. Let's click back and bring back the books. Now as you can see, every card has two buttons on it. Either listen online or download the book. If you click on listen online, it opens the audio player for the book and you can immediately start listening the book. It will show you the list of all the chapters and if you want to listen to a specific chapter, just click on it and it will start playing. If you happen to have a slow internet connection, then you might notice that the audio actually starts playing a little bit after you have clicked a chapter. But don't worry, it will play. Let's close it and go back. The second button that you can see is to download the book on your computer. Once you click on download button, a pop-up will open that will ask you where the book should be downloaded. On my computer, I prefer to keep my audiobook separately in a separate folder. Now, as soon as the download starts, you will see a progress bar in the bottom right corner of CS Books. In this progress bar, you can also see the name of the file which is being downloaded right now. If you scroll down, you will see an empty card and the tooltip of this card is load more books. So if you click on this button, CS Books will load some more books from LibriVox website. Now, once the book download has finished, you will see a notification which says book download finished. And if you check the book card which you downloaded, there is only one button which says play because now it can directly play from your computer. And also, if you click on a chapter, it starts playing immediately. So guys, these are all the features right now implemented in CS Books. If you like reading books, then give CS Books a try. I'm working on many more features, so stay tuned and you can subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any updates.